what they do, but he heard about it. And they actually knew that he got some of them on that stuff. Have you guys seen the Eric Scott video? Yeah, I see that. You guys high enough rank to, for them to show you that? Yeah, no, I want you next. What was his name? Do you remember the Sergeant Reyes? Oh, Sergeant Reyes. You know Sergeant Reyes? I realize there's like over 2,000 of us, right? We walked downtown. We were valley-wide. We were valley-wide. No, I was just checking. No, I wasn't aware of that. We were checking. I go ask him. Asking, I keep telling you no, we've never seen that. So, well, I only answer the questions the same way, every time. Well, that's not always so. I've actually had different answers uh, for different questions when I asked. You got another question you want to ask for the video? No, hey. Now, if you guys participated in coffee with the cops, do you guys do that? Do you ever think about doing it? Could you suggest it? No. I would do it if they didn't do it at 8 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, no, right. I like to get, I like to get, I don't get off to like one, so. Life. Have you guys actually met 50 Cent? I can't hear you, what? Have you guys actually met 50 Cent? I can't hear you. Have you actually met 50 Cent? Yes, I have. Right. <laughs> so you're like officially part of the GU? Huh? Uh, <laughs> Met him, met him at a concert over here. Uh, nice cool. guy. Very, very intellectual. Uh, yeah, cool. Have you met him? I haven't, no. no. Yeah, very smart. Uh, I, I met him. Uh, but you're not part of the GU, right? I met you, but I'm not part of my father. Well, that's a good point. <laughs> oh, <now you> know. <laughs> that's a good point. It's cool, it's kind of cool. We're going to over here. Over at Inter Point. So if you guys don't want to go back down, you're welcome to that. And Inter Point. So you want to see the homeless guy? And then, when there was witnesses. Oh, I got a question. Here. Here's the question. When you come up to the current city, and you have somebody who says they witnessed it, what's the proper spot? You guys take witness statements? How's the parents take witness statements? Well, they were driving. Well, there was a, there was a bike from Germany beating somebody up. They got to go to the hospital. A uh, cameraman with a hat. And he says, hey, I saw what happened. You take a witness statement from that incident. You think it's worth it, you guys have to discuss it, but you think it's worth it, it's not. So it's somebody's that, arrested. Yeah, it's just discretion. Ah, so, you, so you guys get to choose whether you're actually going to investigate crimes. So if, a, if you showed up and a bouncer was arresting someone or having somebody arrested and a, so an independent witness came along and said, I have video of what actually happened, you would decide, you know, I just don't want to see that video. I guess I don't understand what you're saying. I'm saying that a guy walked up to a Metro cop and said, I have video of this happening, and the Metro cop said, get the fuck out of here. So I'm asking, like, I'm, ask, I'm asking you if you would do that. If somebody came up to you... you are asking about a situation I wasn't here on. I'm asking you about if somebody came up to you and said, I have evidence... Okay, again, we're asking the same question. I'll be more than happy to answer yeah. questions. But if I okay. answer a question... Well, first of all, I haven't finished on. asking you the question. You asked me twice. I no, I haven't. If somebody came up to you and said, I have evidence... Evidence Sir. of Sir, the, that's the, third the time thing. You've asked me that. I no, it's not. It depends on the situation. So, do we get into a new question? Do okay. So, your answer to whether you would disregard evidence is what? I don't know what you're talking about. I wasn't well, there. Wait, some people say you don't need to be there. That's part. That's the point of right, investigating. So, so you can't okay, investigate sir. something unless you're actually there when it happens, right? I'm done, sir. Do you want to argue with me? You no, I'm not arguing with you. I'm asking you a question. I if you don't want to answer that, that's fine. It depends on each situation. It's a unique situation. There's no rubber stamp situation. Ever okay. Been. So the situation where the situation no where you showed up and somebody told you a crime had happened, 
and a witness comes up and says, I have a video of the actual crime. What situation? What situation? What situation? Can you, can you okay, we're done with that question, guys. No, we're not. We stand there and family being quiet. We can do that, or we can answer another yeah. question. We can film you refusing to answer the question. I mean, you're asking me about something I wasn't here for. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm talking about a specific incident. I'm talking about if there's somebody come to law and say, I witnessed the crime. You have to just say, you know what, I don't want your information. I want this witness to yeah, and actually the officer has discretion about that. If it's, if it's evidence that he already has the crime, we don't need to have 40 videos of the same crime. Well, right? except that you don't have a video of that crime, and this guy says, I have a video. Do you know, do you know that we don't have video? Yes. There's no, one, no, yeah. there's no video cameras on Fremont. Yep. There's none. There's no video yeah. cameras here. I guess we're done there. Because I can see a pop video camera from right here. Yeah. Okay? Look back and see the red and blue lights, those are our cameras. So there is video on Fremont. So the video... So what I'm saying is, so you don't have the full story then, because you don't know if it was only a video on someone else's video. So we already have it on one video, right? Right? A video of an eyewitness statement. No. Right, but if we already have another video, why would we need two videos of the same thing? Did you ask him that? Was there already video that someone brought forth? How would you know if there was a video? If this thing just happened, how would you do that video yet? Are you like eyewitness? It sounds like the question someone asked me the other day is, now if someone told me, called me up and said, hey, we saw a video of this. How long does it take to pull a video in this day and age? A minute? Eric Scott, he never pulled it according to them, right? Well, I don't know. Right. Here. Sir. Yeah, that's exactly the point is you don't know. I was off. Where did that happen at? It happened right over there. Yeah. I have done law enforcement in Sunderland and... And how long does it take? It doesn't take very long at all if a guy walks up to you and says, I have video. But, it takes but for one second. Up, what are these places that have the monitors and stuff? It takes a while. It can um, take anywhere from a minute to a couple of days, right? Yeah. Ex unless there is no video, like they claim at Costco. So you you can't say whether they yeah. have the video or not. We're just you're just assuming they did it, right? It depends on the crime. It depends on the situation. You're going to get that same answer from me. I can't make a blanket statement. I cannot make a blanket statement. Can I? Why would you take what if they have a video? Video, well, we don't know if it's happening. You guys don't know. Right? I ask you, you don't know. I can tell you from this, from, from the last time I worked at, at a casino, they were actually giving us the updates within a half a minute. Because they had that good. It's digital video. They can go back and type in the time and do stuff there. So, right? So, now. Am I going to use that for every situation? Or I, like, 10 years ago something happened to me right here on Fremont Street. Am I going to read everybody the same way because of that? Would, would you? Do, you? do you assume the same thing is going to be the same way every time? Exactly, that's what I just said. But, I will take a witness statement. I will always take a witness statement. There was a witness statement. When there were 400 people on video, you know what I'm talking about? I'll the video. Three days later... And that's right? you, sir. <laughs> oh, well, you just told me you're not taking three days. Are you a person or are you the same as him? Are you the same as him? Are you the same as the next guy? Yeah. Everybody's different, right? Right. Sir, you see, you keep so the same there's no dispute of whether other people might not actually investigate something. Right? I say it could be instantaneous up to three days. Right? Yeah. So, yeah, so three days later when that video, so three days later when that video is determined that it doesn't exist, and you've already turned down one. Pretty much. Right. So you can swing and then connect. So you can have both, right? That'd be a battery, sir. Okay, so that's a battery. Okay. So, so a battery. That works. That works. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Yeah. But that was the tape that was made by a lawyer. And if you say, you guys go for gold, that kind of stuff, you say that would be a bad apple, wouldn't you? I don't know the situation, sir. You're asking, you're asking me on a third thing, and, and you want me to assume that you're going to tell me the whole truth, or the story you got was the whole truth. Right? No, we're going to ask you if you're actually going to investigate something, or if you're going to say, well, in three days we might get a video. We're playing crash here right now. Uh huh. And somebody walked up and said, I have a video of that plane crashing. Right. I'm out here every night. I'm not pushy. I don't have weekends off. I don't have an office job. Right? I'm out here doing, doing the best job I can. Am I perfect? No. Are you perfect? No. Right? Yeah. Right? 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 Yeah. That's kind of the point is people aren't perfect. I'm not perfect, someone died, died, died either. So I'm like, I'm speeding chicken, right? You guys need to be held to a higher accountability. And we are. If I make a mistake, nothing happens. If I'm driving on duty and I get a wreck, my insurance will go up because I got a wreck. I will get a ticket, which I'll go have to pay, and then I could be suspended and lose another day's pay for something that if you were a citizen, you might not even get a ticket. So is that being held to a higher standard? Of course. You're on duty. But why should I be held to a higher standard? It's just an act. It's called an accident, right? Well, first of all, if you have an accident, first of all, if you have an accident, you get a ticket, whether you're a cop or a citizen or anything else. Not always. Yeah. Not always. No, that's a fact. Not always. I've seen up to a lot of accidents where guys don't get tickets. Why do you think they do that for police? It's because you guys are investigating your own. So you think that that might land it down? And and the reality is that you're not actually investigating your own. I didn't say about investigating the wrong. No, no, but I'm saying if you were I'm talking about jeopardy. Yeah. Jeopardy, yeah, I know you don't want to say that because you don't no, want to point out the fact that that's the reality. Right? Well, that's the reason you guys have all those different standards. That's, that's the reason the in the entire history of Metro there's not been one single trial based on so many kids. And it's not. It's traffic guys in this game. There's also stuff in the gas tax that they use still. I'm a little surprised that they don't anymore. Are you surprised about that? Yeah. Why? Why are you surprised? Well, that's the one that's happening today. That was a that was a courtesy provided by the by the county. Courtesy? It's not required by law. And then when it, when you come down to do we gonna respond to that or we're gonna try to go to other things, something that's not required for us to do by law, right? Is it required by law? You think they've been gotten better since they stopped coming back to you? I couldn't tell you. You don't have any guns, you don't think that they... I, I, can't, I, come from, I come from areas where the police never investigated non-injury accidents. I'm used to that. I was surprised when I came here and they did that for such a Are large town. Huh? No, I'm not, sir. What state are you from then? Or where? What state are you from? I'm from Oregon. I'm from a very nice green state. I'm out of Oregon. Every state I've ever lived in, from the East Coast, the place always and never be accident. Well, I can tell you from experience that in California and Oregon, they do not expand, respond to a non-injury accident unless there's some mitigating circumstances. It, it just comes down to it just comes down to the difference between us and the East Coast is the East Coast has two and a half, three officers per thousand. We have less than two. It's manpower. So, I mean, I would love it. I would love to have enough officers that respond to every accident. I would love that. I mean, what did you? No, I'm pretty okay with cops not being around as much yeah. as possible. I didn't hear him. I can't hear him. I have to do something. Yeah. So I'm actually pretty okay with cops not being around as much as possible. So. Cool. What are you guys doing out there? Did you check the patrol area? We can check all areas out. Where are you guys from? Where are you from? Originally. Like originally or? Originally. New York. Where are you from? Right here. Near Vegas, yeah. right? Nelson Bonanza. We're probably using the West Coast. We're probably using the West Coast. I thought the police were off within the city. Okay. 
And then I get there, and they think they'll change too much. And then, you know, right here, a cop walk. How long have you been to Vegas? Long time. Long time? Very long time. How about you? Where are you from? I'm born and raised in Vegas. Born and raised in Vegas. Born and raised in Vegas. That's me. I'm from that. Hey, you born and raised in Vegas? You guys, you guys go to school together, huh? So what made you guys start talking about? A bunch of people kept getting killed by cops, and then there was never a history in the entire city of Las Vegas of a cop ever going on trial for shooting somebody. Are you, are you Even if they were completely unarmed and completely innocent. Are you one that started it? What's that? Are you one that started it? I started it in Vegas, yeah. I started it in Vegas. So is it going on elsewhere too? I mean, it's international. International? Yeah. How many like different I'm cities? Like, the are you saying there were Probably 200. About 200? So we're not allowed to defend ourselves? So 200 states is it? <laughs> I mean, that's what you're saying. You said that. What's that? You said that every shooting's bad. Every shooting. I asked how many states is it? You said 200. I behind it. How many, uh, how many, how many cop lucky? Yeah. yeah there's probably, I mean, I don't know. I have to count. Well, you it said over. every shooting. I said every I probably, shooting. I probably had some lucky ones. Uh, five years. Five years. came back to this question. And then what happened? Ever since they murdered a guy I went to high school with because he was sitting in a car. Is it Ever since they murdered a guy I went to high school yeah, with, so named Stanley John Gibson, while he was sitting in a car, completely you know not a single the threat to anyone. Okay. Okay. I knew him in high school. I don't have to actually be best friends with somebody. I don't want them to get married. That's different than anyone else. That's public, though. Public are invited. The public are invited, but it's not a. When they invite citizens, not a civilian review board. Not a civilian review board. That was though. There were six civilians on that board. Or eight. I can't remember right there. That was a jury of and the what citizens happened? that day. How many, how many left when, they, when Sheriff Gillespie stepped in? Well, when Sheriff Gillespie refused to fire the guy, they couldn't tell the difference between a hat and a gun. Two thirds and of the you board know what, guys, quit. I really wish I could be a no. I don't wish I could be a sheriff. Yeah. You know what? I know you guys don't really like all of us, but I like going out the neighborhood. I like meeting people. I like helping. All right. Unfortunately, part of that is there are rules, some rules we have to enforce. You're not allowed to hold a gun or a hat. What is that? You're not allowed to wear a hat. That's the or the, to, to carry a hat. Is that the rule? I can't. I can't hear you. You're not allowed to have a hat. Is that the rule that you're wanting to enforce? Because that's what? the you shot a guy that was holding a hat. I did. No, he did. I don't. You're asking about other people. Yeah. You're asking me about things. I'm asking like you people, about. Right. Yeah. Am I, I'm not a sheriff. I'm not even a sergeant. Yeah. Right. I'm you're still allowed. Guy. You're. I'm not a sergeant either. I still know about the cases where people. Are shooting people and murdering people, and there's no accountability whatsoever. And you know what? It doesn't make it doesn't actually make my job harder when people do that. It doesn't create hostility and distrust, so that when I go out into the community to do my job, it makes it harder. Because when you guys protect those cops that just murder people, you that's what it does. Guys. Yeah. So you're saying me? Yes. You're saying you guys? Yes. How did I protect them? Well, you didn't step was up there? and do anything about it. Am I? Was I? Yeah. Involved? So you never investigated anything where you weren't actually there when it happened, right? No, you're asking me about. No, I am asking right? you. you just because your cops. excuse is I wasn't there. I wasn't there. For you don't actually cops, have to right? be there to know something's happening. Like yeah, that's it's not my job either. Yeah. It's and not yes, my they job hammer. either. They, hammer. But what they the don't decisions? hammer anybody. What? You do not know that. What no, I do know that. The, I know the history of cops though. in Las Vegas. I, I guess we're, we're at an impasse. Yeah. Because yeah, I'm not going to sway you, you're not going to sway me. Yeah. So I guess we have and to that's the right problem. Here. That's the problem right there. Because no, you're not asking me about anything. I am asking, asking about you. about the citizens of Las Vegas that I go out there. Uh -huh. Right? Yeah. No, I'm asking I, about I, the citizens of Las Vegas that are getting murdered by Metro cops. Okay, so you want to go back to that, sir? Yeah, I do. Because right. well, that's, that's the, the thing you're saying. That. Yeah, that's the problem, is you're not going to talk about that. No one ever 
talks about the right. trucks that get killed by citizens. No, people talk about that constantly. And meanwhile, five cops have been killed in the last 25 years. Five. So let's talk about that versus the 40-something innocent people that have been killed by cops okay, okay, in the done. last 10 years. We're done. We're done. Okay. Like I said, that's the problem is you don't want to talk about that. Sir, I've already said you're not going to see it right. I'm not going to see it your way because you're trying right. to throw words in my mouth. No, I'm not throwing not words anywhere. I'm asking you questions. You're refusing to answer them. It probably is, ma'am. Yes. And that's why they make more than me. Yep. Because when you ignore all those cops that murder people and get away with it. Yep. Did I say my life was going to be It's more likely to be hurt by you guys than a terrorist. Can't argue, can't argue that. I don't know the numbers. Yeah. But you wanted to talk about all the cops that got killed until I pointed out that only I five of them tonight. actually did. Sir, see you later. Bye bye. Have a great night, okay? Yeah. Yep. Duck that issue. <laughs> Yep.